Hey there, and welcome to episode three of Building Craftsman Creative. Today's episode is called Exact Change Required. Last month, I started seeing signs across town that there's a natch. Wow. Last month, I started seeing signs across town that there's a national coin shortage with a plea to start using exact change. My hope is that it leads to us minting less of the coins that cost more to mint than they are actually worth. I'm looking at you, pennies. But the concept of exact change required got me thinking about what I was going through this last week. I've been on a kick this last year to improve the areas of my life that I wasn't 100% happy with. Sometimes that meant lowering my expectations or reframing what success looked like, as I wrote about last week. But other times, it meant implementing some exact change that were required or exact changes that were required in order to get the desired outcome. Here's two examples. From March to May, I put on about five pounds. Yeah, I know. Woe is me. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't gain the full quarantine 15, but still, it was more than I'd ever weighed before. It wasn't the five pounds gained, it was staring at the scale that read 180.1 pounds. 180? No! No, 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 no! I realized in that moment I had to make some changes. So I did a full month of eating a ketogenic diet and lost eight pounds. I signed up as a beta tester for Levels, which is an app that tracks your glucose levels. And for the month of July, I wore a continuous glucose monitor and tracked every single thing I ate in order to get a clearer idea of how the food I was eating affected my glucose levels. And just two weeks ago, I started a one month intermittent fasting regimen. I'm already down three and a half pounds and I'm back under 170 pounds for the first time since January. None of these desired outcomes would have happened if I hadn't implemented some of the exact changes required. Second example, getting furloughed. In April, the TV show I work on told all of its contractors, myself included, and employees that we were being furloughed indefinitely with the hope of coming back at the end of July. That meant nearly four months that I would not have my main source of income. In that moment, I was really given a choice. Do I file for unemployment? Do I find a new job? Do I dive in head first on my side projects full time? I chose the latter, which is why you're reading this or listening to this or watching this right now. I also was applying for jobs, but that turned out to be fruitless. What that meant was a complete change to the lifestyle I'd been used to for the last two and a half years working on this TV show. I didn't have any deadlines except for the ones I created. I didn't have any income except for the ones I created. <laughs> and I didn't have any demands on my time other than the ones I impose on myself. So in order to get the desired outcome, a meaningful income that could potentially replace my income from the show, I had to make a lot of changes. I had to change how I worked, when I worked, what I worked on, and how I focused while I was working, etc. I had to better learn marketing and sales and everything that went along with creating a profitable, sustainable business. Most importantly, I had to execute at a higher level than ever before to make it work. Exact change required may just end up printed and hung on my wall in my office. <laughs> You don't get the results you want by doing the same thing that produces your current situation. So if you want a better body, exact change required. Want to improve your finances? Exact change required. Want to start a new business in the middle of a global pandemic? <laughs> exact change required. P.S. If you want help with building your business or businesses, your finances, understanding how all the different numbers affect the health of your business and more, go and check out the new app that me and my brother have been building this year. It's called Benchmark, and just go to B-N-C-H-M-R-K dot app, so that's Benchmark without the vowels dot app, to check it out and to learn more. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And thanks for watching. <laughs>